Canon in D is definitely one of the most beautiful classical compositions ever written, probably because it's such a simple chord progression. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play it on the ukulele, which makes it sound so sweet and beautiful. I am using a tenor uke, so the tuning is this one. G, C, E, and A. It's obviously worth to mention that this version of the canon in D is not in D major, but it's in G major because of the ukulele tuning. This is also a shorter version of the original song. We only have five sections, meaning we are repeating the same chord progressions five times. And I kind of put together the most beautiful and the most popular uh, variation of the melody. If you need the tab, check my Patreon page, you can get it. And also I'm gonna link uh, all the other uke lesson in the description down below. In this first section, we're going to pluck the chords one time and let it ring out for two counts. The first chord is the G major. We only pick three strings. Then we have the D major and we're only gonna pick three strings. Now for the third chord, the E minor, we're gonna pick two strings the third and second string on fret four and three. And for the B minor, we do the same thing. We're only gonna pick the uh, third and second string on the fret number two. I like to use the bar or just two fingers. The C major is very simple. We're just gonna pick two open strings. And then we play the G major chord which is played with the fourth string open and the third string fret number two. Back to the C major and the D major. You can play the D major again in two different ways. You can either just put a bar chord and pluck two strings, in this case, the third and second string, or you could just use the first and second finger. Now the section two is very similar to the section one. We still just playing the chords, but we're gonna add a finger picking arpeggio to the chords. We're also gonna extend these chords a little bit and play three strings now. So it sounds like this. on the first chord, the G major, and we're gonna pick the third and first. I use thumb and middle, and then the second string with the index. Then the first again, and the second again. So each chord will always have the same picking pattern. The second chord is the D major, two, two, and open. And then the E minor with four, three, and two. And then we have the B minor. I use a bar chord on front number two. And the G, sorry, the C major. Uh, I'm using two fingers. So the first string for three, the second string for number three, and the third string open. Back to the G major. Back to the C. And we finish with this beautiful D major. I use a bar chord on fret number two and the top E string fret five. You can add a strum or just pluck the strings. First two sections, super easy and straightforward. Now the section number three is going to have the melody. It's super simple melody. I'm gonna play the example and then I tell you a little bit more about it. So the melody is still pretty simple and we have plenty of space between uh, the notes of the melody. So we're gonna start with the first chord, the G major, just put down the chord and play third and second, and then the first. The second chord, the D major, two and five, simultaneously, and then the fret number three. The third chord, the E minor, it's four and two. I'm always plucking with thumb and middle. 
and then second string for three, and then for the B minor is two and two, and the first string open. I'm not using a bar chord here. Now the next chord, the C major, very simple, open in three, and open, and then back to the G major, two and three, and five. Back to the C, zero and three, and then seven. And we finish with the D major, with two and five, and then fret number three. Make sure that you play it a little bit faster when you can. Now the fourth section is going to feel a little bit faster. The speed is still the same, but we are playing two notes per beat now. And so it's obviously going to be a little bit faster to play. It sounds like this. So this is how we play it. We're gonna start with the first chord, the G major chord. And we're playing two and three, and I use the finger one and three. Pluck the string simultaneously. Then the fret number two on the same string, second string, fret number three. And the third string with the thumb. Then the second chord, we're gonna play still the same third string fret two, and then fret five, open, and two. And as you can see, I try to keep the bass note down as I'm playing the melody. So it might be a little stretchy, so take it step by step. The E minor chord. Very simple. The fret number four, fret three, two, and open. And then the B minor. This is a little bit more challenging. You have a bar chord on the fret number two, and you want to pick together three and two, the third and second string, the first string, the fret five, and the fret seven. And then we have the C major chord. So we play the fret number seven, and then I'm playing the fret number three uh, with the first finger. And you can do two things here. You can either play the fourth string and the first string simultaneously, or you can just arpeggiate all the strings, all the open strings, with the chord. And fret number two, open, three, and then two and two. So two and two, open, three and two. And then we'll go back to the fret number seven. So we're gonna jump all the way to the fret seven with the pinky. And again, we can either just play two strings, the fourth and the first, or we can just arpeggiate the chord. So it's seven, five, three, two, and then two and open, three, two, open. Now section five sounds like this. The melody has a wide range of notes, and so sometimes the notes of the melody were way too low to be played on the uke, so I had to play them one octave higher. And that's the reason why we're gonna be jumping up and down a little bit. But let's take it step by step. First chord. Very simple. The fourth string and the first string for number five, two, three, five, two, three. And we finish with five, but we change the bass note and we play five and two on the third string. You pick this together, and then you have the melody starting from the third string fret number two, it's the same note, you already have it there. So the fret number two, then second string open, two, three, first string open, two, and three. So. Now 
the E minor chord. The next chord, the E minor, can be tricky, so let's just take it step by step. We start with the same position, a very simple, three, two, and four, three, and two. And we're gonna play the third and first string, then the second, and the first string open, and then the fret number two. And this is when we change position and we go on the second string, fret number seven and eight. And I do that with the third and fourth finger. And the next chord, we have a lot of notes here. So you wanna put down the third string, fret number six and the first string, fret number five. Pick these two strings together. Then the fret number seven, five, eight, five. 8 is on the 2nd string, and 5 back on the 1st. And then we have the 2nd string for number 7, 8, and 5. So. And as I'm playing all these notes, I try to keep the bass note down. You wanna, uh, you know, you wanna let it ring out. Now we'll go back to the position number 3. And we have the 1st string for number 3. Again, you can do two things, just pick the bass note or arpeggiate the chord every time you have the C major. So for number three, then seven, five, three, two, open, and then. So the bass note is now on the third string for number two, and then we have the first string for number two, open for number three. Open two, three, five, and seven. So here we kind of have to jump back and forth. And the last few notes again for number three, seven, five, seven, and we'll go to position number one on the second string for number three and two and three. And we finish with the last chord. Beautiful scale. The bass is the third string for two and the second string for number two. Open, two, three, open, two, three, five. And we finish with this beautiful G major chord. Zero, two, three, five. There you have it guys, short and sweet. The canon in D, in this case canon in G, played on the ukulele. Now, hopefully you're gonna like this lesson, take it step by step, I'm gonna leave you to practice this, and then I'll see you next time for another tutorial. Talk to you soon, guys.